today we are going to actually start with a very important topic that's called quad and we have a new development uh, in context of the quad so we understand the quad is minilateral uh, that is a grouping of four important country uh, country like united states of america australia india and japan so these four countries are important partner of the quad and they actually collaborate on the different area Although it has been termed as an Asian NATO by the China and Russia, but this is not the case. So this quad cooperation, when it's come in context of the climate related uh, <coughs> partnership and the cooperation, is also indication that quad is also diversifying its actually uh, roles and responsibility in some other area, just like climate change, technology, uh, peace and security. So these are some of the new area in which the members of the quad are now cooperating. So in this context, mein we have a, a good development and the development is that uh, as we understand the COP28 that is conference of party 28 took place in the UAE. So on that important occasion, the member of the quad came together and here actually we have witnessed unusual alliance between the developed nation like India and emerging economy like India. So there has been uh, actually dispute uh, when it's come to the climate related cooperation and partnership in between the developed and the developing countries. So this has been the issue because of which uh, many of the already proposed plans just like Green Climate Fund have not has not been actually realized uh, because we are seeing the uh, you know, lackadaisical approach of the developed country when it's come to supporting and providing some sort of financial resources to the developing country. So that has been the issue. So this uh, is a very good indication we see uh, this cooperation uh, between the US and uh, obviously the India. So in that context uh, it's a good indication uh, and also a good actually lesson that uh, how developed and developing country can work together to address the global concern like climate change. So that is a very good beginning. So here in this you know, quadrilateral security dialogue took place on the sideline of the COP28 and India is also having the presidency of the Quad in the year 2023. So this will be a significant event for India. So let's understand some of the other important aspect of this news. As we understood that the Quad is important, uh, it's not only important geopolitically but it is also important in the other context and we can say the geostrategically. So the involvement of Quad groups members in the area of the climate related cooperation and collaboration is a win-win situation. So we understand that the Quad presidency for the year 2023 is with India. So now we can see the strategically aligning its climate efforts with the alliance goals that is in USA, Japan, Australia, India. So they are now working in a collaborative way on the climate adaptation, resilience, initiatives, sustainable lifestyle, promotion and collective addressing the climate related issues. So that is a very very good cooperation because we understand country like United States of America, Japan, and obviously the Australia, so they are having resources, expertise and also the capacity when it's come to adaptation and mitigation for the climate related outcome. So it will be good cooperation and will also strengthen the quad uh, within itself. So let's also understand some of the other important uh, information related to the news. So Indian Pavilion at COP28 actually that hosted the event under the quad highlighted the alliance commitment to climate action. So climate action is important. Climate action actually involves cooperation in the area of adaptation, mitigation and also the sharing of the expertise, technology and such kind of resources. The notable session also include discussion of the climate adaptation. So adaptation is one of the very important when it's come to the climate change, resilience, seaports, infrastructures in the Indo-Pacific region and the sustainable lifestyle mantra known as environment for lifestyle that was actually given by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi and it focuses on adopting sustainable way of the lifestyle when it's come to counting the climate change and also making environment and obviously the world quite safe and secure for the upcoming generation. So now we have the quad achievement under the climate adaptation pillar. So Quad country now actually cooperating in the area of climate related adaptation. So we have important uh, actually uh, feature of this Quad. So that actually aim and highlight the achievements of the Quad climate working groups addressing the policy challenges, social dimension and governance consideration. And it also actually work in the area that as just we have discussed adaptation that also showcases in the Quad efforts 
in realizing the resilience dividend. So resilience dividend is important in context of, of the climate change and cooperation. So Quad is important minilateral grouping in the Indo-Pacific region and India being one of the uh, very important partner of the Quad and diversifying of the Quad grouping in the different area and working together for the common mutual benefit. Fate, uh, and strategically important area like the climate change technology and obviously the peace and stability in the world. So this will also will boost uh, you know, country's capacity, the members' capacity and at the same time will be a win-win situation for all the countries. So this is all about the Quad. So this is all about the Quad. Uh, thank you for watching this video. As you relevant video ko jaane aur samajhne ke liye, aap humse jod sakte hamare YouTube channel Selection IS ke through. So please hit the like button and subscribe to Selection IS.